it forces you to be creative and, you know, to look in your own backyard. Consumer demand is picking up, but there's a perfect storm tripping the market. The pandemic, supply chain issues and a struggling economy is forcing businesses to do what they're always pushing for customers, to purchase local. All of Bumblebee's product is packaged here now. So there's a lot of companies that have discontinued doing certain services, um, travel, uh, BC for example, what just happened there. Um, <laughs> you know, you kind of just take what you can get. This store is home to two local businesses, the Nutman and Bumblebee Baskets. They too have struggled to source products, but have now looked local to find what they need. It's not that the product and stuff isn't there, it's finding where you can get it. Everything from food products, bags, trays, uh, baskets, even you know some of the toys that we order in, we can't get right now. There have been businesses that have had to do some drastic and significant pivots um, uh, and adapt to this crazy world that we're currently living in. Philip Lozano is with Be Local YYC, a network of community-focused businesses. He says because they are hyper-local, supply chain shortages have been less of an issue. Fortunately, uh, like the things that are happening in BC and the floods impacting supply chains, uh, that's not as heavily impacting some of our members here in Calgary. Challenges are piling up for entrepreneurs and many local businesses have closed their doors. That's their life. You know, that's that's not just their business, that's their livelihood. But there's also something to be said about buying from someone who you know. So some people will see this in the grocery store and stuff, but this is a local company that we've been using forever. The city of Calgary has a program called Support Local. So if you see these signs in the door, you know where your money is going and how much of it. 25% more of those dollars when you spend locally versus not are kept in the local economy. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.